Believe it or not, we spend about one third of our lives sleeping. But a recent survey shows less than 30% of Americans feel comfort and calmness in their own bedroom. Consumer expert Elizabeth Mayhew joins us with some tips on how to create a more zen like space in our bedroom. Good morning to you, Elizabeth. Good morning, Tiffany. Thanks so much for having me. And I really hope I can help some of you all have a better night's sleep. People need that. We, we need it to function at our best throughout the day. And I'm always on the quest to create a more zen-like space in my room. How do we do that at home? I know there's certain things that we can put in our space to make it feel more calm. Well, there are things you can put in, but there's also things you can take out. So let's start with what you can take out. Get rid of the cell phones, the TV, the iPads, any kind of device, because research has shown that the way your brain reacts to those images and those screens is sending tons of synapses, and it's just keeping you awake. So that is, you want to get rid of those. Also get rid of clutter. Clutter can weigh you down and make you feel like you're not relaxed and work as well. If you have your desk in your office, I say either move it out or at least clear it off. Get that stuff into a dining room or a room that you use less frequently. In terms of decorating, color is super important. I often recommend blues and grays because those are very restful colors as opposed to the pinks and oranges, which are very buoyant and uh, energizing colors. Also, you want to worry about lighting. So I never, ever put an overhead light in a bedroom. There's no reason to have it. I much prefer to have two bedside lamps or bedside um, task lamps for reading and have one other point of light in your room. It can be a floor lamp or a table lamp on top of a dresser. Of course, you want to keep your windows covered if, you, if light affects you at all. You can either do a blackout shade, which many people have, but I often like to put curtains because curtains can cover up even those little cracks that can get through the sides of a shade. So those are some decorating tips, but I would argue that the most important thing you can do in your bedroom and maybe even in your house is the mattress that you buy. Mattresses, it protects your back health, your spine. It's what's going to lead to a restful, more comfortable night. Now, to know if you need a new mattress, if you have a well or any kind of dip in your mattress, you need a new one. If you've had it for more than 10 years, or if you sleep better when you're at someone else's house or at a hotel, chances are you need a new mattress. And finding out what type of mattress you need, well, there are three basic types of mattresses. We have a coil mattress. Most people know what that is with the coils that are wrapped. Then I have little cross sections you can look at right here. There's a memory foam. This is what the inside of a memory foam mattress looks like. It has all these layers of foam, and you kind of sink down into it. And then newer on the market is the latex um, mattress. And the reason I say newer, it has been around, but it hasn't been affordable. There are new companies on the market like Zen Haven, for example, that has brought a more affordable option for the latex. And I, I, I bring it up because latex mattresses are kind of considered best in class, not only because they're all natural and eco-friendly, the latex is actually derived from the sap of a tree, but also when you lie on them, they have like a weightless, buoyant feeling. So people love that. They also sleep very cool. If you've ever heard about a mattress saying, oh, it's just so hot. Well, because it's an all natural product, it actually breathes and cools. So those are um, the different types of mattresses. And then buying mattresses. I don't know if you're aware of how much that has changed in the world, but the way you buy a mattress now is not what it used to be. So it used to be that you'd go into a store and you'd walk around and a salesperson would show you around and the prices were unclear, the marketing was kind of unclear. You'd lie in a mattress for 10 minutes maybe and you'd kind of select it, but you weren't really sure. Well, online mattress shopping has completely changed that and that's also the way a company like Zen Haven has made it more affordable because you just go online, they don't have as many options, but when you got, buy your mattress, they come, they deliver it, they set it all up. The big difference is, is they let you keep that mattress for 75 days. If at the end of 75 days you're not happy, you can call them up and say, I don't like it, and they'll come and pick it up, no questions asked. So I would say that you have a much better chance at finding a mattress for you in 75 days than you do in 10 minutes in the store. I love that. You can Goldilocks it. Try it for 75 days. This one's too hard. This one's too soft. You can do whatever you need to get the best night's sleep. Where can we go for more information, Elizabeth? 
Well, for more information, please go to zenhaven.com and you'll learn everything you need to know, not only about the newest in latex mattresses, but also how to get a really good zen night's rest. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.